Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Magic Towers Resort. So in the last episode we uh, worked some more on the water park. And I should say actually welcome back to Mystic Lagoon of course. Uh, because uh, Magic Towers Resort, well this entire park is obviously called Magic Towers Resort. But this is specifically Magic Towers. And then here we have Mystic Lagoon, the water park that we're currently working on. So yeah, um, it's going really quite well, but so far it isn't really looking much like a water park yet. And I think the most important thing that we're gonna need for that is a water slide, of course. It's been long enough <laughs> since we've uh, we've actually built an attraction. So uh, I think it might be about time to actually build a water slide now as well. Um, so that's kind of the plan for today, uh, actually get the main weenie for the park in place and built some of the very first water slides for this area. Uh, so yeah, that's really quite exciting. I'm uh, really happy to be back. So uh, let's jump right into the time lapse. Welcome back to Mystic Lagoon. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, like I said, in this episode we're gonna be um, starting off with the weenie from which some of the water slides uh, will be coming from. And I'm not quite sure, I can't quite remember if I already talked about this before, but basically the idea for the weenie of this entire place, of this entire park, is going to be this mountain. And it's not just a simple mountain, because something's going on with that mountain. Now, um, we are in a bit of more of a futuristic theme. And um, one thing that I figured would be really cool was to have this giant spaceship that kind of crash landed into this uh, this entire place basically. And is currently kind of stuck at the top of this mountain, almost tipping over. Uh, but to keep it from tipping over, they have to, you know, uh, make sure that the jet engine uh, that keeps it in balance stays on for eternity. Because otherwise, you know, it's going to drop inside of this um, very, uh, I don't know, powerful <laughs> pool that is right down below there, the lagoon. And uh, that has uh, very, very bad consequences for the wildlife around here. So obviously they don't want that to happen. So instead, they have this jet engine to keep on. Now it was a bit of a, you know, a bit challenging to create some kind of jet engine, but I, I think eventually I figured out that I can use the water jets, uh, like you can see right now, and if you place like four of them with each a different rotation, they actually make for a really cool jet. It works really well, it has some movement to it as well, so it's not just stationary. Um, so I think that worked really, really well in the end, I'm really quite happy with how that turned out. Now, when I started off with creating this spaceship, at first I was thinking that it might be a little bit too small. Um, because eventually on the other side, at the back side basically, where uh, you can clearly see that some parts broke off pretty much. And it's cut in half. Um, that's where some of the water slides will be coming from. So eventually I kind of had to, you know, rethink how I was going to do that. Because as you can see right now, I am actually putting like some jet engines here at the back already. Um, but that wasn't really according to my plan that I had in mind. So I, I had to change that up again and, uh, and do that a bit differently to fit with the ideas that I had. Um, but I think all of that worked out pretty well in the end. Um, so you'll see me remove those jet engines right at the back in just a little bit, uh, just to, uh, you know, fix that up. Now, one thing that I figured would be kind of cool is to create some kind of a shadow inside of the water here. So that's exactly what I kind of tried to mimic with uh, this uh, darker tone that you can see on the, um, on the uh, water surface there. Now, uh, I think this is a pretty cool effect. I'm not quite sure if anyone will be able to tell that it is indeed uh, a shadow and not just, you know, some kind of weird dark spot. Um, but I think once you get it, it really adds to the, uh, to the whole feel of this pretty enormous spaceship that's like looming right over the lagoon. So yeah, that worked out really well, I think, in the end. Now, uh, obviously this mountain isn't a real mountain, it is still a uh, man-made mountain, and as such, uh, it will probably be hollow and it isn't actually that large if you really think about it. Um, there are some cool water parks that do actually uh, have a mountain at the center. Actually, uh, most of the water parks that I've been to actually have that. Um, for example, 
Uh, this is going to be a list that's mostly Orlando again, but um, <laughs> obviously we have the uh, Disney Water Parks um, where we have um, Typhoon Lagoon, uh, which has a uh, <laughs> a pretty similar thing going on, which is kind of themed to this, uh, this jungle type of area, this very beachy vibe. Uh, but at the center, there is a giant mountain and right on top of that mountain, there is a, um, a ship that is somehow landed there. Uh, presumably <laughs> due to a typhoon picking it up and dropping it right on top of the mountain. Uh, a pretty interesting uh, little backstory there. Um, so yeah, I think this is a bit similar to that in that regard. Obviously, we also have Blizzard Beach, which is the um, uh, the snowy <laughs> themed water park of Disney, which is a really crazy idea. But they too have like a, a big mountain at the center pretty much. It's basically the ski slope and a lot of the slides there are themed to, uh, to skiing and stuff like that. Uh, really quite fun. Um, and obviously we also have Volcano Bay, which is probably the largest of them all, um, with a giant volcano right at the center of the of the of the park, with um, slides coming from uh, from the very top of that. Um, some of them even going straight down. Uh, absolutely insane. Um, <laughs> I was really quite scared to uh, to ride those slides. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, so yeah, th those are just some examples of uh, water parks that have a mountain at the center, and I think it's pretty natural because obviously a mountain is a pretty high thing, and you know slides need to come from somewhere above. Um, but unlike with roller coasters, people actually have to walk to the top. Uh, so you know a mountain makes for a pretty good tool for that, and I guess. Something else that could really work is if you theme it to a city with like some kind of skyscraper at the center. Um, but depending on where you build a water park, that might not really work as a theme anymore because, you know, in some places skyscrapers are just the most normal thing <laughs> in the world. Uh, so yeah, that won't really, uh, you know, stand out as a nice theme. So I think, you know, mountains always work really quite well for water parks. If you need some kind of theme, uh, some kind of place to, uh, to uh, you know, put the uh, water slides uh, on. And... Um, it, it makes for a really cool eye catcher as well, both from afar and from inside of the park as well. So yeah, that's uh, really quite cool. Now, obviously we're still continuing this jungle theme uh, alongside with the futuristic theme. Uh, so obviously I make sure to theme the entire mountain with some uh, jungle vegetation as well, while we can. And uh, you know, it just uh, helps to um, establish this entire place. Now, um, I'm not quite sure, I think most of this vegetation might have to be fake because it might be a bit hard to actually plant all those plants that are like right at the top of the mountain. I'm not entirely sure how that would work. Um, I would assume that there is a mix uh, between real plants and fake plants uh, where the more real plants basically are going to be uh, found a bit lower at the bottom. Uh, or at least uh, in places that are a bit more, uh, a bit easier to access and easier to see as well. Uh, so close to the paths, uh, you might find some more real vegetation, while further away it might become a bit more fake. Um, I think that's kind of how it works uh, with that sort of stuff. Now for this water slide, I didn't just want it to be a very normal water slide, obviously. Um, one of the things that I really liked about Typhoon Lagoon at uh, Disney World is um, that they have some slides that kind of incorporate into the terrain. Now this doesn't quite do it to the extent that they do it, but um, you know, that's kind of the idea that was that I was trying to convey. So the first part is still kind of up in the air, but eventually, you know, the um, the slide kind of incorporates into the uh, into the um, uh, into the the terrain that you see there, um, you know, kind of to just try and make it seem as if it's part of the terrain, uh, which um, I think is always a really fun way of uh, theming uh, your slides, um, and uh, relatively easy as well, I suppose. Um, though it is a bit hard to pull off in Roller Coaster Kuna, must admit, but. You know, I think it works out uh, pretty well in the end. And even though it might not quite get the idea across, you know, um, I like the idea of how it still kind of incorporates with the second mountain that's right beside the other one. And I think when you're going to be looking at this from a distance, it might seem like one mountain, but obviously we're going to have some kind of lazy river running through this water park as well. And that's kind of where, you know, where the, the split in the center comes from, because that's going to be the... Um, the lazy river that's running between the two mountains and um, hopefully kind of theme that nicely as well. Uh, 
Now, Volcano Bay has a uh, lazy river, or at least I shouldn't really say lazy river. It's more like the wildest river you've ever seen. But um, their lazy river <laughs> runs through their volcano as well. And they did a semi good job of actually theming the whole thing uh, because like on the outside it looks really good. But once you get uh, inside of the volcano, you can definitely see that it's just a hollow thing and they didn't really really try too too hard to uh, to hide everything but um you know it's still a really cool effect to, uh, to actually see the inside of the mountain uh, which is something that you won't see at the uh, disney water parks uh, so that's uh, an interesting little difference and i think for this water park we definitely don't want people to see the insides of the mountain um so yeah we're gonna try to hide that as much as possible now one thing to consider here is that uh, we have the landing pool. Now when you get off the water slides you have to get out of the pool as quickly as possible and obviously nobody else would be allowed to swim inside of that pool. So to kind of accommodate that I make sure that there are some barriers that prevent people from just walking up to the pool and jumping in without realizing that that is a water slide space and not meant as a swimming space. Um, so basically by tactically placing some fences and, um, and planters you prevent people from accidentally walking in there uh, and instead you know you kind of section it off and um, give several opportunities for the, for the guests coming from the water slide to rejoin on the larger puffs um, but vice versa I kind of hide that whole section from them uh, just to uh, prevent some uh, some confusion that might occur and uh, the confusion still occurs uh, but you'll have some um, you know some guards at the, at the at the bottom usually that kind of handle that sort of stuff and kind of watch out for everyone's safety so uh, yeah that works pretty well in the end um so yeah um one other thing that you might have just seen me do actually uh is place some paths right beside the lazy river there and that's again is just to make sure that there are going to be exit paths to get out of the uh, of the lazy river in case of emergency now obviously we'll have some designated places where people can can, uh, can get on and off the lazy river but uh, along the side we have to make sure that um you know lifeguards can actually uh, walk around and make sure that everyone is safe and uh, if something does go wrong that they can be pulled out of the water and uh, brought to a uh, to a safe uh, place uh, rather quickly uh, just in case that is actually necessary well that's already about it for this episode if you guys like this episode please do like it it helps other people discover these videos as well and if you aren't subscribed already please do because we are pretty much hitting 2000 subscribers now which is insane Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.